Well, these rocks uh, represent the principles of Espach, as well as my personal principles. Uh, this is courage in endeavor, perseverance in pursuit of the work, and our third rock represents excellence in doing what we have to do. It's because my name is Kaya, which means rock, and that's where we have these rocks, which come from our excavation areas in the industrial park. My mom and dad, they really didn't see boundaries between people. They didn't see barriers. I think they looked at each person on the value of that person, on their ethics, on the way they treated other people. He thought about um, other people and, and the, the people that worked for him. He was very compassionate with the people that he worked for. Kaya Tunchair was born on April 17, 1937. He spent his childhood in Eskishahir and Balakasir, Turkey. His father taught literature at the local high school. His mother was a homemaker and a talented seamstress. Kaya Tunchair left his parents for Istanbul at the age of 11 to attend the prestigious boarding school Galatasaray. In 1957, after graduating from high school, Kaya left Turkey for California. Came to the U.S. with $80 and, and a high school education, but an elite high school education. He waited on tables and worked, finished first in his class. I know he had a job washing dishes all night long. I was prou very proud that he, that he did this, that he did it on his own. Kaya Tunchair received his civil engineering degree from Berkeley and his MBA from the University of Southern California. After a successful engineering career at Bechtel, Kaya Tunchair established his own company and in 1990 founded the Aegean Free Zone in Izmir, Turkey. He should be singled out as truly an exceptional leader. Yes, a man with vision. Once the Aegean Free Zone became a success, Kaya Tunchair embarked upon a new project, Space Camp Turkey. The idea of a space camp for young people came from his friend, a NASA engineer, Ismail Akbay. I was with Kaya and Ismail Akbay, and Ismail was explaining space camp to Kaya. Two hours later, Kaya is saying, oh, I think I'll do it. <laughs> this building that we're in, uh, I was told was an extra building that he had. He didn't know what to do with it. So instead of renting it, he decided to give that up and leave it for the school. But that's what it takes. People who care more for society and making the world better than just money in their pocket. Second year that it opened, it was 2001, it, Turkey went through the biggest economic crisis and global friendship started because we had a, the space camp but people weren't coming and so Kaya decided to create a foundation to use this facility and let, let's give scholarships to kids around the world and bring them. Well, basically what we're doing is uh, trying to develop another instrument towards world peace so that uh, young people get to know each other at, uh, at an early age and work together uh, at an early age. Because conflicts will always uh, come about, but their resolution is really the key and they'll be able to resolve them in a, in a friendly fashion as they resolve problems that we pose to them as they are flying into space in their simulators. In the first 10 years of its operation, more than 100,000 students from over 55 countries attended Space Camp Turkey. 
Space Camp uh, and Global Friendship has now hundreds and thousands of alumni around the world. These are students and teachers who have attended the camp, and all of them are sort of like ambassadors because once they come, they have such a wonderful time, and they go back to their countries, to their communities, and they talk about the camp, they talk about Turkey. It's a, a legacy of uh, love and, and commitment and uh, of, of bringing people together across um, all the things that divide people. This is a part of the world where Turkey is, uh, where we see the division and the conflict often leading to violence. Um, and here we have something that is really a light. Space camp was a dream for him. And that dream, it really affected me. And I felt if he can dream like this, I want to be part of that dream. <laughs>